time because yesterday I forgot. Okay, so today we are talking about crazy, wild, weird, strange places. Any other adjective you can think of to describe places um, that maybe you visited, maybe you haven't visited, maybe you just heard of. Um, so I have a pretty cool PowerPoint for you guys today. Um, I've actually visited one of these weird places, as you'd call it. So I have some of my family pictures in it. Um, we'll talk about a few others, and I'll even show you a little video about the place I visited. So let's get started. So like I said, today we are talking about crazy and weird places. So what crazy and weird places have you guys ever heard of maybe, or that you guys think are kind of weird or strange or a little bit out there? The jungle. The jungle, okay. Yes, Johnny? I know there's like one place in the world where like, if you like, like pour out a water bottle, it'll go up instead of down. Very cool. Anybody else know of any weird or crazy kind of funky places you've ever heard of? No? OT, OT. So the place I've been to that we're gonna talk about first is called the Cosmos Mystery Area of South Dakota. So the area known as the Cosmos is the strangest location in the entire Black Hills. Here, the world is different, topsy-turvy with nothing in its normal position, including yourselves. The laws of nature seem to have gone completely berserk, especially in the mystery house itself. However, to feel the pressure of the area against you, you must, is the most unusual feature of all. A physical experience you will never forget. And like I said, I have actually been here before. I think I, I know I've been here once. We, me and my parents and my brothers went to the Black Hills when I was really, really little. And then we went again when I was um, in my teens. So these pictures I'm about to show you are from when I was a little bit older. So if you look, let's see. If you look, this picture here is of me and my brother. So you can't see where our feet are, but we are standing on a, um, on a, on two slabs of cement. And these slabs are at the exact same level. But if you put your arm up on somebody and then you switch places, you move. Um, as you can see, my brother is taller than me in this picture. And when we moved, we were about the same height, but I don't have a picture of when we moved. I have a picture of me and my younger brother, but that really doesn't show anything because I was taller than him at that point. And then this bottom picture down here, this is my little brother and he is sitting on a chair that is on the wall. But if you can see, the chair is slanted and he's just sitting on it normally and that chair just kind of hangs there and just kind of chills, which is kind of a little bit weird if you think about it. And then let's see these next pictures. So this is me, of course. And you can stand on these planks. And if you try and stand backwards, you have to use like all of your might to stay backwards. But it just automatically, you just want to pose like you're Superman or some kind of superhero because that is how the gravity pulls you to stay that way. And then this picture down here, this one, um, my brother is holding on to a bar. And um, I'm going to show you a video of somebody else doing this too. But so, as you can see, he's kind of slanted. And if you try and pull your legs up one way, it works really easily. But if you try and go the other way, it's actually really hard because gravity is um, pulling you to stay that way. So I'm going to show you the video of this place before we go on to the, some of the other fun, cool, weird places I found on the internet. So see if I can get this video. So this is a video of the Cosmos Mystery Area, and they're going to show you some of the fun um, things that kind of defy how it should Cosmos be. Cosmos Mystery Area. There's lots of people that come and do all sorts of experiments and uh, run tests and that kind of thing, but usually they leave pretty frustrated because they're not sure what is causing all the strange phenomena that we have going on here. Whether it's some strange gravitational force pulling on you, water flowing uphill, or bottles rolling uphill, Cosmos Mystery Area is something you have to see to believe. These should roll downhill. Thank you. 
Okay, so did you see that? He said those should all roll downhill. And which way did they roll? Uphill. Uh, yep, they rolled uphill. Wouldn't you think if you looked at that, they would roll downhill, not uphill? But like I said, it's crazy. They roll uphill. Okay, and this is the one I was talking about. Um, This is what I stood on when I was there. That picture I showed you where it looked like I was trying to fly. Um, that's what he's going to do right now. So listen to this part, too. Once you're there, prepare to experience things that just don't quite make sense. We have level blocks, and if you stand on them and face one another, you kind of get your heights memorized. But if you switch places and look at each other. Okay, and like I said, this is the blocks I was telling you about that you couldn't see in my picture of me and my brother. So look, these blocks are completely level against each other. And watch how their arms are in this picture. And then when they rotate, watch how their arms switch. So again, your heights have changed, yet you've remained level with each other the entire time. Crazy. Uh, you push the pendulum one way, but if you try to push it the other way, there's a lot more resistance, almost like someone's pushing on the other side. Free hanging pendulum, hanging plumb should be equal resistance on either direction. Cosmos is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And it's something the entire family can enjoy. Little ones just find it very funny and goofy, and teenagers just think it's really cool, and adults just find it kind of mesmerizing in a way where they, they're just really interested in how it's working, and they're a little frustrated because they can't figure it out. It's a very unique attraction that it really uh, meets people all different ages and stages of life. Well, welcome back to New Center One today, everybody. We're here at the Cosmos Mystery Area, and with me is Heidi Bybee, owner of Cosmos, and Heidi, this place here is... It's different. It's weird. There's, there's like this, I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I don't know what's going on here. But we're standing here now, and it's almost like there's this, we talked about before, like this gravitational pull, like, like yeah. something that, that you can't explain almost. Yeah, it's very strange. It's a feeling you're just not used to in your everyday world. Yeah, it's awesome. And now, Heidi, because just more than that, now we're going to run through some demonstrations here. So tell me this first demonstration that we're going to do. Okay, the first demonstration we're going to do is a pendulum. And okay. It's a human pendulum, so that's where you come in. Oh, so, so, it's, so I actually have to do something yeah, here. So okay, good. Yeah, we're first thing this morning. Okay, so good. I like it. Go ahead and grab that iron pipe. Like this iron one right here? And okay. Face me. All right. Okay, so this is the picture where I showed you my little brother hanging. So um, watch how, when he holds this bar, how this works, Okay. Now, what I feel this, I feel this pull, <laughs> this pull, okay. I want you to bring your toes up and touch it with the palm of my hand and push okay. it for a couple seconds. Okay. Oh, I feel that. Okay, okay I feel that, yep. Face down, okay. face that direction, and bring your legs up while you're facing that wall now. Okay. Hold it for two seconds again. So just, so just reverse it, just, just reverse it. Try to that 90 degree angle with your body. Okay, here we go. Guys, just, just turning it around here. <laughs> no, no way. There's a lot more yeah. pressure going that. Now, Heidi, what's, I mean, what, what's the cause of that? Why is it so easy one way you turn around and it's so hard the other way? That's the thing of it. It's not just something you're seeing, but you're definitely feeling it as well. There should be uh, an equal pressure and equal resistance. You're, you're hanging plumb, it should be equal resistance either direction. Yeah. But it's a lot harder that way than it is this way. If you're in a gym doing that, it'd be equal resistance either direction. Yeah. Oh, no, there's definitely a lot more resistance going that way mm -hmm. than coming down this way. And so now, a lot of it is, Heidi, it looks so cool. It's visual, too. Now, you take something, and you look at, like, this board behind us. Yeah, let's take a look right? at that. Now, this thing is, it does not, I mean, it's slow. It's definitely slanting down. Definitely. Go ahead and stand on that and face that back. Uh, whoa. Okay. All right. Now, your body's going to tell you to lean into it, but I want yeah. you to stand straight up with the weight back on I'm your heels. Okay. Lean back. Whoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> Almost body slammed her. Oh, definitely feel almost crush you. But now, but then you have this ball here. And we uh, set. Yeah, so if you, you start to think the reason you're playing the pole is because of the way things are built, but the whole time you were Look, level ground. See, and level ground. And there's perfect, perfectly level. Yep. It's highly so crazy. So, yeah, even on level ground, you can feel the pull, even if you're just hanging from the iron pipe like we talked about. Pendulums are affected by the pull as well. Yeah. Okay, well, Heidi, thank you so yeah. much. Guys, if you want to... Okay, so isn't that, like, super crazy that that's how um, you can you can feel when you're at this place, um, this um, Cosmos, like I was saying. You have all these, you get all those weird feelings. Have any of you guys ever heard of the Cosmos before today? Or been there? No? Okay. So another um, 
weird, cool area I found while I was researching is Area 51. Um, do you guys know anything about Area 51? Ever heard of it? Yes, there was a raid held. There, yes, there was a raid held there last two, like year. Okay. So the question is: Is it actually really strange at all? Um, this military base is about 80 miles northwest of Las Vegas. It cl its claim to fame is that it's supposedly the top secret site where alien bodies and technology were taken after a UFO crash landing in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. While it's true the military base is secretive, as which most military bases are, many of the conspiracy claims surrounding Area 51 have been thoroughly debunked. So it's one of those, like, it depends on if you think it's scary or um, weird or strange or anything like that. And then another one um, is the Bermuda Triangle. Have you guys ever heard of the B Bermuda Triangle? Yeah. Yeah. So the Bermuda Triangle. There. Yep, boats crashed there. That's what it said to happen. Um, so what secrets lurk in the Bermuda Triangle of in the Triangle of Ocean between Florida's southern tip, Bermuda, and San Juan, Puerto Rico? Um, the Bermuda Triangle is said to gobble up ships and airplanes without a trace. A slight problem with the legend, though, is that most of the mysterious disappearances cited by believers weren't mysterious at all, but occurred during storms or didn't even sink within the Bermuda's triangles borders so that's just one of those you know crazy things you hear all these ships sink and you hear all this stuff happens there but makes you wonder um if it really does happen or doesn't happen um so like i said today is mostly about strange and weird and different places um so like i said we were talking about that so like another um i don't know if it's necessarily strange it's kind of something that you question so, have you guys ever heard, oh, I'm assuming you've heard, have you guys ever heard of the pyramids, the Giza pyramids in Egypt? Yeah. Right, you've heard of them? Okay, so then the question is, if the pyramids were built way, like, way back in 2589 BC, they were built way back then, and they're as tall as they are, which, let's see, um, I think I saw something today that said they're around, like, almost 500 feet how could they make them that tall back in those days when they didn't have all this new fancy equipment we have now they they used rope rope to uh, help them build and they use and they and they help each i know other. how okay hold on one second okay how did they do it they would they would they would individually carry up bricks. Ah. Yep, so see, it's one of those things, like, certain things that have happened, it makes you wonder, how did they do that? Because they, you know, you know people had to have been innovative and figured out things back then, but, it's, you know, those strange, weird things um, that you question how it happened. Um, okay, so, um, like I said, I found lots of cool, interesting, fun things, um, like if you think about it, let's see, what else, what else is cool, have you guys ever heard of the Loch Ness Monster? Yes. Yes? Um, so how do you think that legend kind of started? Do you have any ideas? They think. Yeah. What What do you think? It might, it, it might not be a legend. It might not be a legend? It might just be a dinosaur that's still alive. True. Could be, you know, because that legend has been going on um, since the 1930s. And, um, and, that is a, and that is a really, really deep lake. Yep. Um, I think they said... I think the research I was looking at today said it's around somewhere between 750 and 800 feet deep. So it's a really deep lake. There could be something that big in there. So a lot of these strange and weird places are like things that maybe aren't so much strange as they are just bizarre as to how they could have um, come to be. 
or even it doesn't even necessarily have to be strange or bizarre. I know when I was looking, I looked up um, some cool places to like visit in Nebraska, and there's actually a giant stamp ball that you can visit somewhere in Nebraska. So there's lots of strange and unique things out there um, to see in the amazing world that we have. And it makes you, definitely makes you wonder sometimes how um, that could be. But that is about all I have for you guys today on some strange and weird things. Hope you learned or saw some cool things in the video I showed you about the cosmos. Like I said, it's a great place to visit. I loved going there as, when I was, I mean, I was in my teens when I went. And it was fun for the whole family. Um, next week is your guys' lucky bonus week. It'll be all fun in the sun, I believe. So we will be doing lots of stuff. I haven't even, I've kind of looked ahead, but I got to look ahead a little more. Um, so I hope you guys join us all for the fun bonus week before we all have to go back to school. Um, so I will see you all next week. Okay. Bye.